Hello guys, how's it going? So we had a couple of streams the other day and I'd like to show you what we made there because they're quite lengthy streams. So this is basically what we we're trying to do. We were trying to see if we could make some sort of automatic loading system at the packaging station and this is what we have come up with. So we've got a bounce floor. The bounce floor basically stops the package when it's shot out of the packaging plant. It stops it from kind of tipping and rocking over. So it hits this and then it gets passed down this system to our waiting truck, which was another build that we did on the, the stream. And I quite like it. It's only big enough for three packages at the minute, but it didn't look anything like this when we finished the stream. So this is just tarting it around a bit. It can all be built with survival blocks only. I kind of just winged it a bit and used a creative tool to get me some uh, ramps. And I've also changed the inside floor. It had kind of the wire block in there. But now it's got these super slippery skid things that you can get from the warehouse. Everything on this you can get from the warehouse. But yeah, this is what we came up with. So I'll just show you how it will work. So hopefully we will get us three packages and hopefully this will work. I might need to get in and kind of keep it backwards because as we all know scrap mechanic has a wonderful friction issue where everything is on ice so you basically yeah you back your truck up so that you're at your loading dock and then fill your chest up i put this here just to make it easy so i didn't have to keep running around but uh yeah it just simply loads it up nice and easy we can fit a few more in and then hopefully yeah the first one's already in so the second one hopefully Gets to the end. Boom. Loads up automatically. I do not have to do a thing, which is beautiful. I can just stand here and watch the beauty happen. And that is it. That is our truck fully loaded and we are ready to go. So now all we've got to do is pull away, close the door down. Turn the wheels off at the back and away we go. Now there is something wonderful about this truck. Yes, the fruit is loose on the inside. The fruit and veggies are loose on the inside, which will cause us a few frame issues. That's why it's as small as it is. But sooner or later it will sort itself out and it won't be an issue. But it does like to roll over this truck. I was going to show you something, but I need it to roll over rather than get back up. It does have a wonderful capability built into it. It was built by look rather than anything else. So we'll just roll this over. And there we go. So obviously you know that when you pick something up that's full of stuff, it usually leaves the items behind. Or if they're welded to it, you won't be able to pick the thing up at all. That is why this has a slight benefit. Because they are loose inside, I can pick my vehicle up and not have to worry. Oh dear. Our goods are on the floor. Whatever shall we do? Well, this is where this truck kind of comes into its own. So if we open the door and we run these wheels up, we can back up. But I've also built in a sneaky little helpful tool with this truck. And it's this. So these wheels at the back have opened up. They've come out sideways. So now if we just back up straight onto this piece of tomatoes and close those wheels in. It just scoops up the veggies from the floor and loads it into the back of the truck. Nice and easy. We don't have to worry about losing any fruit or veg on the floor. We're able to pick it up. We're able to keep it all nice and closed inside. And we're able to drive off to the trader where we can unload. I thought you guys might be interested. You might not. thought it was an interesting little concept that you could do to kind of just load up things rather than having to do it manually it obviously works better if you do it manually so that the the items are kind of like welded to the truck which means that you're going to have less lag issues but i just wanted to see if it was something you could do if you could do an automatic loader we've got the two air conditioning units on the top to keep our goods nice and refrigerated but i thought you guys might be interested you might not that's what we did on stream the other day thanks for watching you guys i will see you again next time bye for now Bye.